Good morning, your majesties. Welcome back to your third day of school. I'm kidding, you guys. Come on. Welcome back to my brand new segment I'm doing called Do You Want to Be Princess Peyton's Valentine? And that is where I tell you guys... <laughs> That is where I tell you guys scary stories, scary Valentine, scary Valentine's Day stories from February 1st to February 15th. Um, this one's not going to be as long as my other segments were. Um, so let me, I'm so sorry, my hair's being stupid. Um, geez, am I really mad? Okay. Um. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. My hair is not being right, nice right now. Okay, so I am going to tell um, two of them because I found these um, stories on 17.com and they're called 13 Valentine's Day Horror Stories That'll Make You Cringe So Hard. I'm already cringing. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm gonna tell you um, two of them because they're, um, short so this first one is called i got dumped lovely okay um my ex boy my ex boyfriend invited me over to his house to spend valentine's day with him i was really excited and i had even bought him some really nice pens and a notebook because he was really into drawing i drove 30 minutes from my place to get there 30 minutes oh my god um 30 minutes from my place to get there and we were just hanging out in his room he was acting really weird so i asked him what was wrong and he proceeded to break up with me right there after i gave him his present what did he he was acting really weird so i asked him what was wrong and he proceeded to break up with me right there after i gave him his present wow um guy uh, girls ladies um <laughs> if i had a boyfriend and he broke up with me after i gave him his valentine's day present you best believe i would snatch that gift right back he would not get a Valentine's Day present for me after breaking up with me. Are you kidding me? No, absolutely not. No. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, geez. So that's one of the stories. Okay, so this next story I have is called, I got stood up then swerved. I'd been seeing a guy for about two months and we hadn't had the talk yet about whether or not we were an official couple. He asked if I wanted to go out on Valentine's Day though. He just said Friday. I was like, yeah, great. Assuming he knew that was Valentine's Day. I got a blowout, oh, I got a blowout, I got a blowout and dressed up and then waited and then waited at the sushi place for 45 minutes freaking kidding me i could just feel everyone giving me sad eyes for being stood up so finally he got there okay uh no excuse for being late and no flowers i busted his balls about this and he totally panicked because he had no idea it was valentine's day he wound up giving me the i'm not in a good place to commit to anybody right now blah 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 speech right there amy dallas wow um i'm not in a good place to commit wow then why did you decide to meet her at the restaurant 45 minutes late like what the heck man oh no um anyway um yeah, uh, maybe I'll tell you one more story and then that's going to be it for today's video. Um, this one is called I Got Pranked. One time in middle school, my biggest crush asked me to be his girlfriend. After that, I started sending him 
cute glitter texts saying how much I loved him and missed him. A few days later, right before Valentine's Day, he told my best friend to tell me he was only pulling a prank on me because he wanted to see what would happen. Life sucked. He wanted to see what would happen? Oh. Um, if that were me, he, he probably, I would be in jail. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, if a guy pranked me, I, I just either wouldn't speak to him anymore. I would have a huge resentment, um, against him for a very long time. Um, yeah. Uh, he wanted to see what would happen. What a sleaze bag. Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this story. What do you think of the other stories I read? I think those, what was the other stories I read you guys? Um, oh, the getting dumped one and the getting stood up and yeah, I, I think they're all bad. They're all equal. There's nothing. Yeah. You, you can't, there's nothing. You can't top that. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart and the song lyrics to Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Okay, love you. Bye. Mwah.